Hey, my name is Ben. I'm uh, working on a bulk tank today, and I thought I'd show you the refrigerant leak detector that I've been using for probably the past three years or so. This is the CPS LS 3000B, and uh, it's been a good leak detector for me. I had uh, one issue where the where the speaker quit working, um, but I CPS took care of that for me after I sent it in for warranty. But uh, basically, we've got this main power button right here. It says start on it. And that's going to turn the detector on. Now sometimes when I first turn it on, I have to let it kind of pull air through um, through the uh, detector for a minute and then shut it off. And you shut it off by pressing and holding. And then turning it on again. And then uh, there are two different sound settings on this thing. So you can double tap to change the sound. This is a more annoying sound, so if you're trying to be more... Uh, if you don't want to make too much of a attention to yourself, then I prefer the lower pitch sound. Now, uh, windy environments are not good for this thing. Uh, anytime there's wind, I'm going to put it back to the high pitch sound. It's windy out here right now. So if you wave it around at all, it's going to think that there's a leak for some reason. So we're going to turn it back off again. So I can reset it. And now in here, there's not as much air movement. Um, the thing that you should know as well is if you press this up against something accidentally, it's going to think it's a leak. So when you're looking for leaks, you got to make sure that you don't actually press the end up against something. I'm going to reset it one more time, and then I'll show you, I know where there's a leak already because I've been checking for leaks already, just going to adjust this so you can see what's going on, okay, and it sometimes just makes more noise than it really needs to, but I know that there's a leak on this cap right here, and so you'll see when I get close to it. We're at level two leak. So I've got a level five leak right there. So as you can see, it does work pretty well, uh, but you just have to be aware that uh, it can be a little bit touchy. So you have to turn it off and turn it back on again multiple times. And then, you know, go over the same area and make sure that you have a leak. So in this case, I've got a leak on this cap, and I possibly have a leak on this line here too. I'll have to figure that out. Usually once I kind of get it close to the area where I'm pretty sure there's a leak, then I'll use a little bit of soap um, or leak detector that just bubbles as the Freon leaks out, just to verify for sure exactly where that leak is. So. Um, I hope you liked this. I hope it helped you out in deciding what leak detector to buy. I'll put a link in the description to this exact uh, detector on Amazon. I bought this one on Amazon, and it's worked out pretty well for me. So, uh, talk to you in the next video, and please feel free to subscribe and click that little bell icon if you want to be notified about future videos. Talk to you later.